going into that mountain range there. Um, another 15 miles or so. So fingers crossed. It's not snowy and there's spots available and it's pretty. Well, five miles out this way. At some point this uh, paved road is going to turn to dirt and then the reviews seem like it might be a bit rough. So we'll see. Hopefully it's just the last little stretch. National Forest. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're climbing climbing up pretty steadily back here, which is kind of the plan because the heat is really hard on hops. Um, and so if we could go up in elevation, we could get it to where it's a little bit cooler. Just looks like they have fire rings, picnic tables. It's pretty all right. And one, two, three. Hmm, I can tell he's up to no good, that one. Wait for it. Yeah, his little sniffer is working way too hard over there. I know what he's after. Little turkey's going after his chili penguin. That scared me. It's right on the road. I almost ran it over and I jumped. <laughs> I was like standing on my foot pegs and I like kind of jumped off my foot pegs. I was not, I should be expecting it, but I wasn't. So I'm just out exploring um, and I'm trying to take some back roads to get to uh, town um, and I might grab a bite to eat there. Uh, but this road, it was like moderate and then I made a turn and for the last like bit here, it's been pretty rocky. So I'm debating, I don't mind rocky. I just don't like really doing it by myself so much because it's just a higher likelihood if I fall that me or the bike ends up broken. Um, but I might try and go a little bit more and, and see if it maybe gets a little less rocky. So you can just see how um, it's just a lot of rocks. <laughs> so uh, kind of bouncing all over the place over here, but we'll see. I'll probably keep going for a bit and see if it gets any better. Just taking a little break here. Um, my bike is air cooled, so uh, this super slow when it's hot out. Um, yeah, it's probably just good for well and me, my bike and me to take a, a break. So um, it's pretty rocky in here. Uh, I probably should have turned around back there, <laughs> but being that I'm stubborn, I didn't. So. Uh, now I'm kind of like, well, I'm this far in already. I guess I'll just keep going. Um, I do. The good news is I do have cell service here. So, um, yeah. So at least, uh, knock on wood, I can still uh, get cell service if uh, I have any bike problems or whatever. 
since this is otherwise very remote. Uh, it doesn't, I don't even think you can pick a car down this trail here. Um, it gets pretty, pretty tight in there with the, the bushes and there's certain corners that I've gone around and it's super narrow. So um, I'm just gonna take a quick break and get back at it. A couple more miles to go. It's just endless stuff like this. That's actually pretty steep uphill. Camera kind of flattens it, but uh, I'm getting pretty beat up. I do feel like that's like the top up there. The ridge is right there. Uh, so as soon as I get up there, I think then I'd be coming down the other side. So at least it'd be downhill. Uh, I'd be coasting a little bit on the rocks instead of fighting them uphill. Uh, I don't know. Ugh, I'm just so annoyed. I just, uh, I find, well, I was doing so great. Uh, no falls, no almost falls, no killing it. And then I just killed it. And I'm on this really rocky, steep section. So now it's been like impossible to get going again because I can't really touch the ground. So I tried to like uh, stack up rocks where my feet are so that I could at least get a little bit. But then as soon as I start to get moving, I can't get enough momentum to jump on the pegs and keep balance. Um, and then I'm just not tall enough to touch. Uh, and I'm super frustrated. And I get super determined to do it. And so now I want to do it more than ever before to make it there. Because I'm only like two, two point some odd miles to get there. Um, and I've come a long way on this. Um, but now I'm struggling to get moving. <laughs> so I've been in the same spot within three feet of the same spot now for half an hour trying to get enough oomph to get up. So, uh... I think I might have to turn around just because I'm by myself. If I had help, yeah. Mwah, mwah. Okay, that was a little exhausting. But I'm now whew, pointed most of the way downhill. It's perpendicular, so I should be able to hopefully get out of here and ride that left line. And that stupid, sad little lip right there. It's only about... uh. 10 inches. I didn't have enough momentum and that's what I hit and uh, killed it because I just wasn't going fast enough. Hmm. <laughs> Now at the Kelly Mine, I had to cheat and take the road. <laughs> More like fire trail to get here, much easier. What a beautiful backdrop there. Um, this is actually three separate shafts and the Kelly Tunnel is what it said make up the Kelly Mines. And uh, I think they were mostly after zinc and iron no zinc and lead so these stopped being active in 1950 so this um all these remnants nobody has been actively using them since then so over a hundred years old though I just got super sketched out. I'm I was trying to look down the mine shaft, 
and just holding my camera over the edge gave me heart palpitations, but <laughs> see if I can do it. I'm gonna put my motorcycle keys elsewhere though because last thing I need is for them falling down the mine shaft. <laughs> you guys ready? I literally can't even hang over, lean over far enough to see exactly how deep that goes because it just keeps going and going. And yeah, I can't even see. I couldn't even see on the video. It just goes and goes and goes. It's crazy. I'm surprised it's not um, more filled in and blocked off, I should say. I was so depressed that I had to turn around and come back it's really hard on myself about that. But once I turned around and came back all the way down that hill that I went up, actually, it's pretty impressive I made it up there. <laughs> it was um, a lot rockier and steeper than I thought. Um, and I think when I had to turn around, um, it was so bummed out by the fact I had to turn around. I didn't give myself enough credit for how far I had made it. And it's always good to remind yourself to sometimes talk to yourself the way that you would talk to a friend if they were in that situation. Sometimes we're kind of mean to ourselves. So yeah, <sighs> I did all right. Oh, and then you saw I went to get a, I had a chili burger, uh, like a green hatch chili burger and fries afterwards on my way here and I was telling the woman um, in the restaurant yeah I tried to go to the mine and I took those roads from like blah blah, blah. telling her the route I took and she was like you do know there's a much easier way to get there and I said yeah because I didn't make it and she said yeah that's not that's not a good way to get there at all it's too much um <laughs> She's like, you should just take the road. I was like, wow, well, I wanted a challenge, but I guess I got too much of a challenge, so <sighs> that's okay. I'm gonna try and find some old pictures because this whole hillside is like scattered with bricks. Let's see what the building looked like that the, these bricks belong to. So that must be one of the other shafts. They just did a better job of collapsing that one in. I'm not sure, but this might be another one. So this is the Tribullion Smelter. This was built here to help process the metals. So it sounded like that one that I leaned over, it's still there, is um, 1,100 feet deep. That is nuts. It really, uh, has a population of two now. <laughs> two people. <laughs> And I think uh, next to, there was a church down there and I think next to the church there was a little house and that must be the two people that live here still. There was a cemetery on the hill. I did want to check out the cemetery, but I, I'm either going to have to skip it or I'm going to have to come back because I am just pretty beat. And I actually wore my real dirt bike shoes today, which was the smart thing to do given the terrain, but I've been doing a lot of walking and... Uh, kind of over walking in these. So I think that's another one of the three shafts. And there's a bunch of these structures here. I don't know if this is related to the mine or if this was just when um, it was a town that they, these are people's houses or what? You see all the foundations left still. It's my town. I mean, my town. 
population 7400, population 2. What are you doing? <laughs> you all up in my grill. Bubba? He ran out of steam. So he's getting the executive ride up the rest of the hill. <sighs> and I get a really good workout out of it. Which kind of nice actually so now he just disappears can't figure out where he's going I think he's just <laughs> getting comfy in there oh what a guy oh he's looking out the side huh kind of disappeared on me I have trouble seeing where he went is he laying down in there can't see his little head anymore I'm gonna have to get one of those like uh, little mirror systems that people use <laughs> for their baby carriers. So I can see what's going on back there. I can feel him moving around. Oh, oh, hi. Are you trying to lay down back there? She's not quite big enough, huh? She's not quite big enough for you. Sorry. This is literally the biggest backpack. I could find <laughs> where he didn't have to like straddle me and be right on my back he wouldn't it just wouldn't be comfortable for him to do that it's better this one at least he can sit I just wish he could also have enough space to lay down it needs to be maybe six inches wider on the bottom You do so good, though.